All right, guys. So welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Origins. It is a good time to be back. I have been wanting to play this game so badly, but the weekend kind of took over me. And I know it's been like a day or two since our last episode, but the last episode was absolutely heartbreaking. I, I was not expecting the death of that little girl. And honestly, these tragedies make these games better. Unfortunately, it is human nature to hate tragedies, yet make things more memorable as far as movies and shit like that. Obviously, not real life. So I don't know why. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm some sort of psycho. I don't know. But uh, we are, in fact, back. I believe we're on the sixth episode. I'm not too sure. Um, but I cannot be more happier to be back here and playing this game for you all. I'm here with our beloved Senu and one of the most insane, incredible assassins that I've experienced, that we've seen in this whole entire franchise. If you guys are new to the channel, we've been on a crazy run. Five months or so now playing Assassin's Creed. And we're finally at the last one. And man, oh man, it might just be one of the best ones. And I'm so happy. So... We just finished with the arena. We have a couple of new main quests um, as far as like where we're at in the story. I believe the first one that we have to do is ambush at sea. And then the next one's going to be the way of the Gabi Niani. So we're going to go ahead here. I think this is a story that's going to be told about Aya. Yes, I think so. So we're going to see how that works. The last time we experienced that. We had a little bit of a black flag moment, which was really cool. So I'm excited. Now, I know a lot of you are kind of curious as to like what attacks and abilities I've gone with so far in the story. Um, I'm, I'm pretty even as far as like what I've chosen. I'm definitely a little bit more of a warrior as I have definitely kind of emphasized mainly on being a warrior as I got the master warrior already unlocked and everything. And then now I'm kind of working my way for the seer and the hunter. So anyways. Uh, I think we're relatively close. 100 meters, not too bad. And uh, thank you guys for those of you that have really just been showing love and support to the series, um, to this to this game. Um, it really does motivate me when you guys just, you know, leave nice comments and you know, the videos do well and likes and stuff like that. Have you heard the story of courageous Captain Foxy Dust? The magnificent oh, Greek mercenary who single-handedly defeated the despised Gabiniani in epic battle on the high seas. And then... You said goddess of Siwa. What was her name? Which battle are you talking about? You have not had. Oh, my friend, then you are in for a treat. Let me tell you how it happened. There we go. I believe this is the same guy that we had. Ooh, we are playing as her. Last time we sailed as her. Has it. Now we're playing as her. The noble Greek captain and the Egyptian goddess sailed from Alexandria's Golden Coast in search of the feared Gabiniani fleet. With only their sturdy trireme and loyal crew against the Gabiniani's fabled warships. Floating mountains carrying... 10,000 men bristling with oars and fire. Where are these mongrel Gabiniani? My informant assured me they would pass here. A throttle is scrawny neck if he told me wrong. Who are the Gabiniani? Where did they come from? Exiles of Rome who took Egypt as their home. Traitorous rats, everyone. With the discipline of Rome and the ruthlessness of Ptolemy. Worthy opponents for the likes of us. Well, we have to stop them before they can join Ptolemy's fleet. You'll find them, I. Is that their whole fleet? Poseidon's peace, no, woman. That's only part of their full strength. The lesser part by the looks. Trireme's only. There's no sign of their damned octory. This works in our favor. We can work them down, ship by ship. I'm, I'm wondering if if we ever get to play as her like actually you know fight and stuff like that oh. ah, this is light work baby light work baby we got this Woo. 
This is light work. Yeah, I'm really interested to see if we're, we're going to be able to do something more with Aya as opposed to just sailing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I wasn't a big fan of the sailing shenanigans um, before Black Flag. I really wasn't. It was one of the things that I was dreading the most about Black Flag. And after Black Flag, I ended up loving it. So I, I definitely do love and enjoy this aspect of the game. Holy crap. Put some fire bombs in there. Obviously, these arrows are not going to do much. <laughs> right, one more. Return the fire. We can ram them up. I forgot how to swap weapons. I know. I think they taught us on the last. Oh, there it is. I don't have any. I think. I just realized there's a guy playing the drums <laughs> or whatever the heck that is. Dirty warships. Pompe himself would not claim so many. You must not doubt me. I was told it by someone who saw it happen. Captain, we bastard men. The Gabignani are finished. Don't be hasty, boy. My spies gave me a greater number than that. They must have split their fleet. We should head east. Straight into the jaws of the crocodile, if your spies tell the truth. <laughs> what of it? I've wrestled more fierce than beasts. Hmm. As if rising from the very depths of the underworld, a second bristling wall of hulls appeared. This time, an unbelievable 40 Gabiniani death ships faced our lone heroes. Then another ship rose behind the fleet, the size of which has never been seen before or since. Oh my 10, god. 10,000 warriors crowded its massive deck, smashing sword and spear against brazen shield. This may have been the largest fleet ever to sail the Mediterranean. Silence! <laughs> Fair Suddenly, 100 balls of fire leapt up from the Gabiniani decks and bore down upon Foxidas and his stricken crew. Uh, we gotta take these guys out. With this spring from the fog, it is like a nightmare. Ah, don't let them bring trouble to the bastards. If they lose, to shake our nerves. Bro, what the freaking hell? And the flames, the fire is intense. Foxidas, this weapon could really help our cause. I might know someone who knows something. We could make it happen. All right, we gotta take the little ones out first, man. Oh crap! The and the day is ours. finish this. Oh my god! Let's see if we're gonna have enough health. We're already halfway. Holy smokes! I know this is not the most exciting mission to start off our episode here for this amazing series we got going on, but hey, I know it's gonna get better. Dude, this thing is gonna take us out. Oh my god. But it was all to no avail. Yet, more ships appeared. A vast burning armada of war bore down upon them as it sent from Mars itself. The crew. Oh my god. Oh. It is false. This must be the fault out of these bastards. Gods and peace. Bro, we're gonna die here. We win or we die. Repent, 
What the hell is another fucking ship? Hold on, hold on. Steady, old man. Let's not bend the gods. Strike us. Oh, perfect, perfect. That's it. They're done. Victory! My amount! Well done, all! Oh, la, 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 la! <laughs> what? Whatever the fuck that is. Okay, great story, man. Great. All right, awesome. Fantastic. I really wanted to play with Aya, but. So, Foxidas and the goddess sailed into legend over the backs of 10 times 10,000 drowned Gaviniani. I tell you, I weep just to tell of it. And they say, if you whisper a prayer into a wave, or a fold of the sea, you can hear their war cry answer back. Alala! Alala! And that is how it happened. To a word. What a tale. The goddess name was Aya. And a goddess she truly is. That may be the only honest part of the story. What is truth? All is permitted in the realm of greatness. One must believe in the act of creation. Or else, they will join the Gabiniani. You are a fine storyteller, Seni. Though, I cannot tell if you are playing a game with me <laughs> or telling a story. They are one and the same, my friend. Married to each other, like the oceans and the rain. Alala! You see it now! <laughs> huh? hey, let me tell you, that's an easy way to get XP. Anyways, now we go back here to quest and we're going to do the real deal. Holy field way of the Gabiniani. And that is actually 8,000 meters away. And that's why we had to do that one first, because check out how far this thing is. We have to literally travel all the way to Apollodorus to be able to do that. All right. So we're going to get on our horse. So it says speak with Cleopatra in Heracleon, I think. Oh, this is where sh we saw Cleopatra, actually. So it says that, and then she will be at her palace. Oh, we're going to see her palace? Oh, very nice. So maybe, just maybe, we can travel by sea or river. I'm not sure this is actually a sea, but let's see. Mm. Let me see here. Can we run over the hippos? <laughs> God damn, those hippos are tough, dude. Sheesh. Oh my God. All right, so I think in, Ass in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you were able to um to let um like you can let Avor kind of sail his little boat. To the to the destination, not just by land on a horse or something like that, but it looks like in this game you can do that. Look at those big ass crocodiles. This game actually reminds me a little bit of Red Dead Redemption. Obviously not to the certain, you know, upscale or to the same degree, if you will. Red Dead, I feel like it the, the world has a lot more life to it. But something about this game really, and, and it's a good thing, really reminds me of Red Dead in a way. Maybe it's the wildlife and stuff like that. I don't know. And I was actually going to mention this in the video. I was, um, I was going through the comments of the last episode yesterday. And I guess some of you actually got to the point where I was talking about how Bayek is literally like the most savage assassin. Like the scariest one and then i saw one of you guys said that's exactly what you thought until you played as avor and i didn't think about that but i'm like damn avor really was savage avor really is a savage i mean think about it he is a reincarnation of odin himself 
So he was definitely a savage. All right, I think this horse is gonna go and put me under. Oh, nice. Yeah, dude. I don't know. It's a close call between Bayek and, and Eivor. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Who's crazier? Bayek or Eivor? I mean, Eivor's a Viking, dude. Vikings don't fuck around. And the reason was that you guys are saying, um, the person that commented it, like Eivor, and I was laughing because if you remember in the game, Eivor was so gentle and so Whoa. sweet. Like the way he would speak sometimes and his little subtle dumb jokes and his little soft voice. It was so soft and kind. And when, when he would go to war, it was like a completely different person, which was uh, kind of psychotic, to be honest. But pretty crazy as, as, as well. I cannot believe I've been talking the whole way. Normally, I would probably like do a transition and just travel there. But I just feel like I have so much to talk about. And I know sometimes in these videos, I talk a lot with, I could talk on for days and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if you guys enjoy that or not. Um, but I can literally, I can probably look at a white draw of a white draw, a white wall drying of paint and just talk to you guys for a full hour of just nonsense. I, I can just go from one thing to the next. Maybe, maybe that's not a good thing. I don't know, but we're here now, so it doesn't matter, does it? It does not. All right, Cleopatra, is this her palace? I'm coming. What? Ah, look who has returned. Bayek of Siwa. Perfect that you have met us in Heraklion, the city of wine, women, whatever a magi like you desire. And deserves. Ah, to the queen. Imagine if this guy is the one. Hold on. You arrive at an opportune time. Cleopatra, I'm still looking for the men who killed my son. The order is neutralized. Was my hunt for me or for you? I have two more names. The order can't be... And how many more names after that? As many as it takes. I wish to bring my son to the afterlife where he belongs, not... Ah, I like you, Cleopatra. But the royal matters that seduced my wife do not sway me so. What does the badge mean to you? Have you forgotten? This badge means more to you than it does to me. This is not one man we are fighting. Nothing ends simply. Aya has understood that you have a new reality. I am your pharaoh. You are Magi to all of Egypt. Follow me. We have a gift. A gift? Mm. Speaking of Magi, any news of Aya? Aya is still defending the seas. We are expecting Pompey and his fleet any day. To unite against the old <laughs> I did see a lot on my hunt that sickened me. Our land is being oppressed greatly. I realize we cannot let the order rise again. Yes, Bayek. The two new names, the Jekyll and the Scorpion, are within my brother's inner circle. We believe they are the ones behind the attempt on my life. An attempt on your life? By your brother's Philakis? Hard to tell. A Gabignani, one of Septimius' warriors. They form a militia 2,000 strong. I had hoped to ally with them. With Septimius? The Roman lug. He leads them. Yes, the dreamer who posits himself as truly Egyptian and yet sends a man to murder me. Not very Egyptian, if you ask me. Aya feels he is working for the Order and has a proxy here named Venator. Perhaps he is the masked one that forced my son's death upon me. Oh. Votu! Just kill me already, you coward! Oh! Here is your gift. He is in the order of ancients like Septimius. We found him snooping around the villa. We think he knows who killed your son. Right. Oh. <clears throat> My brother 
Timaeus, you're your son, and I don't give a shit. Shit giving is my job. I just fucked those twins up. Then it's over. Holy crap. That was one hell of a headbutt. Not for you. I will press him for more information. I suggest uh, you visit the brothel in town. Yes. Go dig through this Dionysian town and unearth the plot against us. Septimius is in town. His main philakis is a man named Venator. We heard rumors he is lurking around the brothel. I will clean this town up and ensure our safety. My plan is to rename this temple in my name. Is the town safe yet? I got busy and distracted. It is a beautiful region. Any luck? Enjoy the brothel. Time is of the essence if we want to catch Septimius. I am working on it. I'm gonna say this. I love Cleopatra. The character, the voice actor is flawless. Very captivating. Very, very good at her job. So, very, very nice. And the other guy as well. I, I just have like an itch and I hope I'm wrong. I really do hope I'm wrong. I might be wrong because it's a, it's a far fetch. It's very far fetch. Um, I feel like they might not be looking out for our best interest if you catch my drift cleopatra and this guy i forgot his name now i don't know why um i really hope i'm wrong i hope that by can actually have some people that we can trust and consider friends really and not just be with us for their own interest which might be what's going on here but again it's very possible easily possible that i am mistaken and i'm just looking past it So obviously I'm gonna sync up just in case. Um, if I do have to come back, it's gonna be much, much easier. It was quite, uh, quite the journey as we saw to get here. But yes, very interesting indeed. Thankfully this guy, the brother, the brother owner, brother owner, it's really close. So here we go. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been trying to do these Assassin's Creed games a lot less cut. Like, cutty. I've just been kind of letting things play out more. I don't know if for Let's Plays it's better. Sometimes you guys like me to cut out stuff. Like, traveling from place to place. Which I do still, but not as much. I don't know if you've noticed. Maybe not. Maybe if I just keep talking, you won't notice. <laughs> but anyhow... Oh, poor lion. That's my favorite animal in the entire world. How dare you? Oh, whoa. Is that a naked woman? It's a naked man? No, that's a topless man with the titties out. Very nice. Okay, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I just walked by her. Sorry. <laughs> ah, a true warrior. I have a discount for... Wait. You're not with the Cabinianis, are you? No. I am not. I am a Magi. Whoa. Magis used to come here all the time, but not recently. Who do you work for then? Cleopatra. I heard she was in town. Well, a Magi working for his pharaoh. You must have gold to burn. I would like to speak with your legendary twins. Speaking is what you call it. I suppose we all have our thing. The twins are going to cost you if you want to speak or anything else with them, Magi. Make yourself comfortable upstairs. The twins will come for you. They had a rough night yesterday, so don't speak too hard with them. Hmm? Hmm. You wanted to speak to us? Ooh, I'm looking for a Gabignani sex? named Venator. Shh! Do not say that name! She is a naked Iadet. I won't hold my tongue for that monster. Everyone is scared of him, but you should kill him. 
He's staying at the top of the square. He won't be staying anywhere ever again. I will not interrupt your sexy time. I, 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 you know, you can't. Yeah, great. This is rated. This is rated M for mature. After all, boys, there you have it. It's got sex scenes, um, which you cannot really see, but uh, yeah, quite interesting. That was quite eventful. By Anubis. This place has been busy. Venato does not work alone. This place smells like a swamp. Broken dishes. It reeks of foul play. Blood on the walls. This Venator is sick. What have you and your men been up to? Interesting. What is this? Loots, lipstick, and scented oils. While women of the street here, and Roman regalia. Odd. Seems Venator wants his men to mix well. Okay, there we go. I was trying to say, like, wh why the hell is my progress not going higher? Wine casks. This doesn't smell like wine, though. Oil in wine casks. Oh. Enough oil to burn down the whole city. Oh, shit. Target practice on Cleopatra. Oh. Venator is training his Gabinianis for an assassination. I fear the queen was right. Venator is plotting. Mm. All right, but I need more information. Something is missing. Oh, didn't I check this already? The assassination of Cleopatra. Hold on. Something else. What am I missing here? Why is it not? Could it be outside? Oh! Oh! Dear Venator, have included the drop, uh, the drachma of your pleasure in the arming of your men. Remember to maintain conf confidentiality. That Gibiani, uh name still means something as. We ascend to the throne. Pay your men for the assassination and return to me uh, in Alexandria once the deed is done. Remember to be uh, remember to be efficient. Uh, the arsonist can enter her villa via the dock. Our archers can provide our archers can provide one fatal arrow through her heart posed uh, posted at a high point. Jesus, Livia sh should try a more direct approach, and I'm sure Alexis can find a proper way to infiltrate. Uh, with his eccentric methods, he was—he always does. I trust you will ensure his job is done. Um, I await your arrival excitedly. Our navy could use a good word to bluster any new war efforts on the horizon. The order of the ancients is strong. Soon enough, peace and order will be our gift to the people of Egypt. Your ironclad strength is uh, the only way to maintain control in Egypt. Septimus, what the fuck? My gods. A crafty plan. One of the men is posing as a woman. Must be to infiltrate the palace. Posing as wine merchants. They will dock and set a fire to cause a panic. With an archer ready to pick up the queen in the confusion. Somewhere high. Venator. 
more than just one of Septimius dogs. You have your own puppets within the order. I have to find them before they strike. Yo, what the fuck? All right, so we're gonna go. Oh, really? Kill the archer, kill the infiltrator, and kill the lamplighter. And there's guys still freaking banging it out over here. God shit, bro. I'm here trying to save Egypt. And these guys are just banging. That's hilarious. All right, so we got a couple of guards here. Not too bad. Let me see how many guards I can. There he is, perfect. Imposter, a Roman man who wants to kill the queen. I am doing you a favor. Never a dull moment in this town. <laughs> right, bitch. Bro, who's who's banging it out again? Are you guys just scared? Or are you having sex? What's going on here? Fuck. You guys are worse than the Greeks. Banging all day. I respect it. All right, we're going to go to the next one, which is the closest one here. Um, I think we're only supposed to kill those people. We don't have to confirm the kill or anything, which is good. I should not be seen in this area. By the way, this is the only city where I've heard people bang. This is the first time I hear people bang. I didn't hear that in my hometown. It's not in Siwa. Mm -mm, people there are very nice. Very quiet, and they keep to themselves, and definitely are not sex addicts. <laughs> that one, I kill him. I don't want to do all this. You're forcing my hand now, Bucko. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, you don't fuck up, bro. Come on. You guys want some of this? Oh, shit. Yo, that heavy attack is insane. It's gotta be the biggest archer I've ever seen. Excellent. Alright, so now we gotta kill the archer. I'm sorry, that was, was he an archer? Yeah, he was an archer. Now this is just a de designated archer that's gonna kill Cleopatra. Or that at least believes he's gonna kill Cleopatra. He doesn't know we've got an assassin on the way. Ready to kick his ass. There he is. Oh, I yes, Senu. Senu, the best bird in the land. Yes! Biatch. 
All right, as long as this guy hasn't noticed. <laughs> He's whistling Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Look at this man. What a... What? <gasps> what a psycho. Come here, bucko. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh man, I just fucked up their entire plan. That's hilarious. Sorry. Not really, but you know, sorry. Aya, my love. Oh, baby, what's up, girl? Where were we? Back. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Ah, you smell of the sea. The high seas have taken me for some time, but now I'm yours. Dude, fuck no, I saw my life flash before my eyes. I am wounded, Aya! Protect the queen! Aya! I am wounded! You must protect the queen! That's it, bitch. There's a fuck. All right, go to the queen. Go to the queen. Is it? Oh my god, what the hell? Oh! Your queen is an unworthy bitch. That is no way to talk about a goddess. If you are a guardian of Egypt, the country will surely be dead in moments. Keep talking. You'll soon find yourself without a head. Need to stop by the block. Oh, what the fuck? See my handiwork. Hey, you're not about to beat my ass in front of my girl, bro. Hell no. Bro, once this guy keeps when he starts going, it's like he doesn't stop. This guy's resilient as hell. Woo! Oh, that's right, bitch. I hit you with my ultimate heavy attack. You like that? Oh, no, no. Woo! Come here, bitch! Will you fucking stop? God, that annoying ass combo he has. Chop his head off. Chop his head off. Chop it off, damn it! Save a place in the duet for your brother, Septimius. Hey, old man. Oh, are you injured? Just a flesh wound. <laughs> I am fine. Nothing hurts anymore. My mind is a riot. All I have is that I am pushed further. One more attempt to snuff me out. My queen, rest and remember I do that not need rest. This civil war is no closer to ending. I need a fucking throne. My throne rots in the hands of my brother. Instruct Foxidus to prepare ship. We head to meet Pompey. My last resort. You two go ahead and tell him we're coming. Yes, my queen. Oh, wow. Bayek, if we don't get to Pompey first, Septimius might. All right, good. Now we get to do shit with our wife. Nice. Bring Aya to where Pompey is landing. Oh, wow. Quite far. 
thousand meters. Appears those Gabinianis left us a feluca. Kind of them. Can we take this? Yeah. Sorry, baby. It's not the best. But uh, something is something. Man, that was awesome. Septimius is the shit eater. He is the man we must escort to the devourer. And of Potinus? He will be more fodder for the devourer. And then we return home. We will only return home with Cleopatra in our company to show the sea ones what has changed, what we have changed. How are things on your trireme? Great. Foxidas has entrusted me with. Why don't we take each other here? In this reed boat. Take advantage of these rare moments between us <laughs> before your new job steals you away as savior of all Egypt. You make jokes, but it is not funny. It is greatness I am after. This country is at civil war, one simply cannot deny it. Everywhere is misery. I love you, Aya. And we are Medja. We do serve and protect, but we work alone. I share your hatred for Ptolemy. But remember, Cleopatra is a Ptolemy. She is the better of two evils. We must serve greatness. What greatness do we serve now? We are parents. We were. Oh, come on, don't talk about I that. I love you, Bayek of Siwa. But what are you of now? Uh -oh. Gods. The Nile will run red for many moons. Uh, Osiris will be busy. These are Romans. <gasps> None of Ptolemy's naked ear debts? No way. No. An unceremonious <laughs> removal. Looks like we missed the boat. Holy crap. Demios has beat us. Funny how all great men are reduced to food for maggots. This is a cemetery for our ambitions. No. No, it can't be. Where is Caesar? He has arrived in Alexandria. He is heavily guarded, so there's... Bring me to him. I will get to Caesar if I have to drag myself through the sewers of the palace. Holy smokes, dude. Blade of the Goddess. Hold on. So is that the next one? It is the next one. Forewarning, Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the queen on her throne, or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. Okay, let's get this. Ooh. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. My loyal shield boy, are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> I, uh, she is the real goddess. There, in the distance. <laughs> Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, <laughs> Fox. It is time to make war. About to sell again. Brothers at sea, 
Today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the sage and bee. With so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you direct your attention to the fort, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down upon us. Emissaries of our little pharaoh. How kind of them to come forth! Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly! With a ball of flaming refuse! Ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> la, 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 la. It reminds me of a day 20 years back when I sailed the Pirate. The Sicilians was it. Ah, you heard the stories. That's right. I was a higher call than you. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only piece into the life of a scoundrel. I prefer having a charade of peace. Only a charade. A shred can be hard to come by. He speaks! <laughs> great measure! Well done then! The craft comes naturally to you. Easier to sail about when the sea is empty of ships trying to sink you. What a dozen missing triremes, not a lot the main fleet. It will take some time for them to find the wreckage. Onwards! Captain, my ship smells like charcoal. Damastes, please, shut up! Then, more autonomy ships! They'll want to box us in and drive us against the shore. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those naked that will feel Ra's arrows. Nice to hear an Egyptian vulgarity on a oh, Gerard. <laughs> But I think is what makes life interesting. And blood. Ah, la, 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 la! The fleet awaits your command, I am. Our catapults will fire upon your order. Okay, hold on. This is not a battle, will we? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Take them, you slacker! Wow. Don't let them talk! God, that's intense. No! Excellent. No right. them to the abyss. Oh my god, that's nuts. <laughs> that is nuts. That tra that that move is crazy OP. The air stinks, but not the voracemen. Something else. Hmm. Bigger ship? Hold Foxidas. Look there. And the water. Two ships down? Damn Ptolemy! Did make a fine name. Oh no! General was part of this Roman conference! Those were my men! Foxidas, we're not done yet. Our catapults will do their work. We'll make it pay. And dearly, by the balls of Zeus! I want the ocean turned dark with their blood! Damas this! Make the call! Increase the river! Yes, my captain! Alala! Alala! Send an octave! A floating city! Blast! Do the gods wish my fleet destroyed? Oh yeah. These old fish will stick in your grizzled throat. Bear up, old man. Let's not offend the gods without cause. I'll take angry gods over docile ones right now. Open up the skies and rain some kind of shit down on us. We have one last piece to hunt. I gotta rid of this boat here first. Perfect. Let's go, baby. This ain't nothing. You guys ain't nothing. Let's go, 
This is similar to what we uh what we did in the story. Right before we started the action. I'm starting to think I don't know if I'm gonna include that or not. Oh wait, I got one more. Catapults. Those are so hopey, dude. Let me hit these right here. This is where it counts. That's where it fucking counts, baby. Let's ram them. Let's go. Oh, they're done. You're dead. This is the man we're getting cheated on with, bro. Right here. <laughs> Lucky to be in your furious company. Should I apologize for putting you back to work? Not at all. Not at all. My blood runs quick now. With the roar of battle. By Zeus. I have not seen this much action since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father. Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we are done. <laughs> Attacking starboard! Oh, we are not done! Ptolemy's man, we are not dead yet! Get out of the ring boats. Use the fog to hide your escape. But I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Ah! Flee, you fool! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, no. For battle, we will honor our goddies! Yo. I'm just going to be honest. I understand in a lake traveling in those little sailboats, but in an ocean, no way. I'm not doing it. But they did it. Anyways. We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. Uh, we cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm them. Armed or not, they will recognize her. For once, perhaps the Queen's entrance is unnecessary. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, what the frick? <laughs> we are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Oh, here we go. We're playing as I am. Is our Queen all right? I'm fine. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, but that looks like a full, are we? full body Let in there. Me do the talking. I don't know if we're going to fool these people like that. And if we do, they're pretty damn stupid. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my phylachitae. We bring gifts from our local merchants. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way, our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Bro, that's crazy. Domine. Oh my god. Do you think we could take them all? Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy the Thirteenth, his envoys from the east, with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on then. An offering? 
Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry. It is very sacred. Must be handled by the Felakidae. They understand the merchandise. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Huh. I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. Continue this way. <laughs> Guest legionary, at ease. This is very interesting. Stay in the palace. All politics are concluded. The palace is at your disposition, guys. Pompeii was back. All right, moment of truth. Oh, the fucking head. Jeez, look who it is. <gasps> Pompeii was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first, but you are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <laughs> what is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! <laughs> My wretched brother. He's at the wine go to vinegar. And my kingdom to pieces. Great lady. Your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Wow. Bothinus and Septimius gone. We missed them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. Why do I we feel? You're worth tenfold today. You truly are great Medjais. Why do I feel like that's not going to be the case? Why do I feel like everything is just not going to work out the way? They're painting it out to be. Ah. Ah. Aya, dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> it is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below. Well, <laughs> I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Hmm. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. Oh, cool. Let's play with her. Very cool. And there's nothing else 
Like you can't go to the menus or anything. Interesting. Ah. Very interesting. Huh. Did I tell you of the poet Catullus? Oh, here it is. I don't believe so. Another cur who made brief mention of me in his verse. I do not study over much to please and court you, Caesar, nor do I care much to know if you be black or you be white. It is a dead end, my lady. I will double check. Ensure it is. I can't believe I missed that. You insult our yes, Broken I insult spears. your intelligence, just like this game has the insulted Romans mine. Really did try everything. They got it right. This way is completely blocked. That earthquake must have altered the structure. It's funny how this part of the game, the story of the Romans and stuff, was like kind of like a hint towards the next Assassin's Creed, which is fucking cool. Strange. This wall is not as solid as it looks. There must be a way beneath. Around. As solid as it looks, there must be a way beneath. Around. Oh. Bro, are you kidding me? This is a tighter squeeze than the cave west of Siwa. We were smaller in those days. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Bayek is here. Or, oh, there he is. I'm about to say, or not. to now my love mm -hmm. let's see baby let me see here baby give me a second here baby there we go it must be through the sewers no one had the courage to plunge into Hades with us we are the ones Ooh. Big dive. Ah, oh, this is so like Black Flag. Fuck. Oh, shit. Where's Bayek? Bayek? Did you die on me? One big crocodile. May its soul rest in peace. <laughs> is... About time you showed up. <laughs> Was I supposed to see a crocodile that we just somehow missed or something? And oh my god, look at this. This is ancient history right here, baby. Provide me with a similar sarcophagus. <laughs> Whatever you want, my love. It is said that his sarcophagus is full of honey. Helps preserve the car. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Promise me you will bury me with my blade. So I can protect myself in the field of reeds. Promise. These markings along the bottom. They speak of Siwa. A vault. And a scepter that Alexander holds. A moon stands in a field of trees where a marked sphere meets its scepter. Man to king, 
king to God. A marked sphere. What did you do with the orb I gave you? I gave it to Apollodorus. He loves those things. We should let the others in. I'm going to keep looking around. These paintings on the wall. Paintings on the wall? Hold on. stuff he is holding the markings ever since i was a boy i've idolized this man he is similar to you i wept at the base of his statue in rome at 30 he was a god with an empire stretching across the known world what have i done with my five long decades here on earth it me did you faint together we can do more than alexander did yes. how long you? before the queen stops impressing caesar and starts impressing us. Our needs are hers as well. She will deliver. I'm telling you, man, this is not good. My Caesar, our emissaries have been captured at the southern garrison of Alexandria. Soldiers have reported a hostile environment. Captured? Is this Ptolemy's diplomacy? I will send my guard. Greek soldiers will pass more freely through the city than Romans. Let us settle this matter, my queen. Flavius, come. Look. We have found the great king. Oh my god. Taking on the entire garrison will not be easy. I may not have to take on the entire garrison. A calculated kill and a shadowy presence will fare better. If you take on the armies of Ptolemy, I would like to be at your side. I will distract the garrison with a brawl. A fine idea. I will procure the emissaries. Rescue Caesar's emissaries. I feel like they're going to have some sort of like lust for power or some shit. And then everything's just going to go to crap for us. That, that's my prediction. Whoa, clear the way. Hopefully I'm wrong. All right, we're gonna go through the rooftops. Let's get this. Oh, that's actually quite far. <laughs> Damn, it's further, further than I thought. Sheesh. I wonder what these cities look like nowadays. You know, like in modern days. Obviously, back then this looked very, very vintage, but now. I don't know. Just like I said in one of the previous episodes, I would love to visit Egypt and the pyramids and shit like that. I think I even mentioned that when I when we were recording uh, Microsoft's uh, flight simulator. Don't look at me. I cleaned up the bodies last night. Somebody just kill me. Finish the damn job. Oh shit. We need to alert Caesar. What happened to you? Septimius, they are preparing a siege of the harbor. They want to take the palace. I will not betray Caesar! How many more heads must I chop off before Caesar understands? This is futile. A change of plans. Oh. The lion says we must march on the Pharos and trap the queen. <laughs> Is she so badass? This guy. <laughs> oh, you want to get your ass kicked by the queen? Lucky my husband's not here. You beat your ass. I need to bring him back to Caesar. Come on, bro. You're not, you're not safe in here. 
I should find a horse. Yo, she's strong as fuck, dude. All right, we got a horse right here. Return this man to the palace. We're probably gonna get spotted. But it doesn't matter. Come on, come on, let's go. Yeah, sure. That that was great. We we hit them all right. What is wrong with these people? They weren't moving. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, that was so stupid. I remember we were here in Alexandria when we um that was a second episode when we first met Aya. Aya, Aya, Aya. I keep forgetting. And I remember when I was gonna do that mission. That mission there and that and that uh fort man i had to grind for like a day uh, four or five hours i remember i was really low level god that was so annoying and what annoys me is that there were side missions so it's not like people want to see side missions you know it's like wasted time but anyways we're here i will shut up now the story is picking up big time now which is awesome you have loyal men, Caesar. Septimius plans on trapping you in the palace. You have no time. As I foresaw, war. Levius. This is war. They want fire. Let us burn the whole damn harbor. And if we change the Pharos light, the rest of the fleet will know what to do. We will join mm. them by chariot. Salve, Lord Caesar. I will make the order. Hmm. My queen, you should accompany me into battle. As these soldiers rip each other apart, I shall stay on my throne. I am queen until a sword plunges through my heart. And even then, my blood will stay on my throne. Good then. I stay. My life is yours to do with as you will. Now, the most crucial part of the plan. Put this into the brazier of the Pharos. She will accompany me through the city. Now, let havoc reign. Aya, if you find my brother, Ginestoi. Ginestoi. Story. I smell war. <laughs> we will put our queen on the throne. You are the only queen worthy of the throne. <laughs> He's so in love with her, Give man. Give me the powder. Caesar thinks a woman cannot do this job. Prove Caesar wrong, my love. He loves her so much. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna make a prediction here. Well guarded here. This mission is gonna go terribly wrong for Aya. Aya. Whatever. We might have something bad happen to her. And Bayek is gonna lose it. No, what the fuck are you? That's Well there it is. She's dead. I I told you I didn't even want to do that. Something bad may happen to 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 our beloved uh, wife here and I feel like Bayek is gonna lose his shit again these are just wild predictions a lot of the times I'm right a lot of the times you guys know that I'm wrong but I like making the predictions because it's fun okay so I'm just gonna try not to sink uh, press A too much if not I'm gonna screw it all up this is war it's Whoa. Oh no. It's gonna break. It's gonna break. What about the powder? Wasn't it powder? Wasn't it? Reach the top of the pharaohs.
Bro, we don't have sand or we don't have anything. Oh shit. Let's get it then, baby. Let's get it. See how the hell we're gonna reach this. I think I reached the top of this area when I was uh, doing some of the side activities to like level up and stuff with Bayek. And I believe it was around here. Yeah. There it is. It's definitely through here. And then there was like a window or something. And I'm pretty sure we can probably fast travel here. But it was here indeed. How dare you? Oh my god. Someone crushed that tiny lotus. How did she? Hold, little woman. Just little woman. So we can deal with the real problems. These Roman malakas. How dare you disrespect me, asshole. Ooh. <laughs> Shut your trap. Hell yeah. I think there was an entrance at the top floor. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Off with the bow and arrow. Yep. <laughs> Avoid you like three front flips. vibe in this game really is fucking phenomenal dude it really is the vibes are strong with this one boys My God! Ptolemy's men are breaking through our line. No! Wait till I see the signal. I can't believe you trusted a woman to do something of such importance. How are the fleet to receive their orders? Patience, Caesar. The die is cast. <laughs> Come, we go to the battlefield. Medjai, cover the retreat! Many men have died to die. All have found themselves dead by her blade. <laughs> Hell yeah. Out of the way! Brace yourself! Hard left! Yo, this is crazy, dude. You better be as fast with your bow as they claim or we will be dead. You focus on driving. I will keep these fools at bay. 
odd way to speak of your countrymen. Any who would give up on our people is no countryman of mine. Die! Put them back! Holy crap, nice. Oh, I just hit my shield. <laughs> I am working on it. Work more quickly. Hey, man, you're demanding as fuck. Oh, that's my bird. That's my fucking bird. I hear more gaining on us. I'm shooting as fast as I can, Roman. Oh, that is not good. What is it? Don't be those way down, Caesar. Faster! Perhaps we can outrun it. Oh, shit. Oh! Ready yourself, Caesar. This is worse than any battle you've yet had. It can't be that bad. It is Osiris himself. The arrows are only making him angrier. Hold the chariot steady. Bro, I can't even hit the guy on top. Join the ships. We will be heroes. Saw and mine. Three days later. Wow. No. Okay, she's okay. I thought she was hurt. Oh! Damn! This is fucking vicious! Oh. The line runs three stadia. According to our speculators, Potinus leads the charge. Keep the soldiers distracted, Caesar. I will handle Potinus and Victoria! Yo, this story is so dope, dude. This story is phenomenal. It really is. So fucking dope. Like, I feel like there hasn't been a dull moment. I feel like out of the three, like, ancient sort of Assassin's Creeds, Prepare this one has a lot less, fight. like, bullshit missions. Fly! Rome sends her regards! About the boys. Oh, what the fuck? She wishes to make your acquaintance. You'll be in the door soon. Prepare yourself. What are you talking about? The gods have entrusted me with your demise. Oh, this fucking elephant is crazy. <laughs> Fuck 
fighting a fucking elephant. <laughs> He's a weakling, of course, but he had an no elephant. In that insane order comes to an end, Potinus. Face your judgment. They went too far in Siba. I knew it then. But I just wanted peace for Egypt. Your peace leaves many wanting. This is inevitable. A good rule always does. My apologies, Bayek of Siba. My fee is covered, it seems. Now may I go to my glory. There is no glory left in Egypt. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The damned eunuch is no more. Good. The speculatores found Septimius. He is in the village beyond. I will distract his men while you capture him. We must know what he plans. You would think your spies would already know. They have their limits. But they claim Aya has the scent of that puppet king. So they also have their uses. Then Ptolemy is already caught. I will finish the rest. Let a real man handle this, bro. Relax. I got this. Reach the village. Yeah, so like, I feel like Odyssey had a lot of BS side missions and stuff like that. Not as much as um, Valhalla. I do remember feeling like towards the end, AC or um, Odyssey was just like, man, I had to grind so much just to be able to beat the game at the end. Um, when it was first out, right? Luckily, Valhalla didn't have that, but Valhalla had a lot of pointless missions, like a lot. Ah, the fool finally comes. You will beat see your, your god soon. You will I Siwa. We finally fight. Are you ready for your end? Prepare to face judgment, Septimius. You will find yourself in the Duat soon. Gotta beat your ass, bro. Is that all your fury, Benjai? No wonder it was so easy to take your country. Yeah, keep talking, dog. You will find me. <laughs> Bye, don't fuck around, bitch! Did you miss me? Oh, what the fuck? Stop, Bayek! Timius is Roman. We will deal with him under our laws. Oh, he's gonna kill him. He killed my son! Oh! That's not gonna look good. Oh, that's that's where the conflict begins. Bigger threat now.
They're gonna hold them back? Nah. The Pharaoh is dead! What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, I'm so mad right now. What is going on? Everything for which we have worked for so long is now ours. We have defeated our enemies. Only I can lead Egypt into a new era of prosperity. Oh, she took the staff from uh... What the fuck? Are you kidding me? with Septimio sound. We are banned from the palace. I do not begrudge the venom in your eyes, but listen for a moment. Speak quickly, or you will find yourself at the wrong end of my blade. Your services are no longer needed. Cleopatra has granted you gold. Oh. I am sorry, Aya. Sorry? We gave her everything. We gave her that damn crown, and she stands next to him. <laughs> and where is justice for us? Septimius was supposed to be judged by Rome. Is Caesar protecting the order? There are compromises to make a queen of Cleopatra. The man who killed our son is your ally. We are going to do whatever it takes to kill him. You realize? Look, Caesar blames you for the death of Ptolemy. A pharaoh, a god, by I, I cannot change this. Be damned what Caesar thinks. It is with Cleopatra that I made the pact. Give me time, Aya. I will ease this for us. Until then, I beg you, be careful. Not everything is as it seems. Traitor. With all my words, I have nothing to say now. Cleopatra has been poisoned by Rome, and we by her treachery. We will burn with Egypt. I can't believe this. Order I fucking called it now. to an extent. I will deal with this <laughs> hold on, hold on. I was wrong. I am responsible. When my boy died, I fought back with rage and anger. But this only made them stronger. We are all different, but we fought together to put Cleopatra on the throne. Now, this was a mistake, my friends, but at least it brought us together. Now our enemies are hidden behind crowns, walking in the shadows of kings and queens. Who are the ones that walk in the shadows for the people? We are. Something has come of all of this, and it starts right now. We must continue the fight and defend the free will of the people. And no matter how small, our brotherhood is the only hope, and our kingdom needs no crowns. What we believe in, our values, our creed, will unify us. And I promise that for all the songs of Egypt, I will be the father. I was not that day in Siwa. Yo. To the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood! Yo. Yo. You are right. 
I trusted the wrong goddess. There's a question that yet lingers. Septimius. He took Alexander's stuff. <laughs> Why? Indeed. He and Flavius had too much interest in Alexander's tomb. We start there. What a fucking game, dude. How do people not like this game? You guys are crazy. We are going to end it here. The aftermath will be the next mission. Dude, what a fantastic story. This game is so phenomenal. What we just witnessed, legendary. Whew. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, drop it a like. Cannot wait for the next one. And as always, I will catch you later.